guys. Um, so this video is to walk you guys through your first, uh, your, your syllabus and your course calendar. Um, and I am going to have this video available for you guys as well as the syllabus and course calendar in the syllabus tab in the top left corner. Um, you can find that at any point during the semester um, if you need it. But if you would go ahead and open and save both these documents, um, you will have a syllabus quiz that follows this. So please make sure you have that handy. Um, so this course goes through January 14th through March 7th. And if you need it, my email is brittany.estes at myo.tccd.edu. Um, and really this course is a look at the early American identity that's formed um, from early settlers, Columbus, um, all the way up through the Civil War. So we're really looking not only at the, the primary voices in this um, identity formation, but we're also looking at the secondary or um, marginalized voices that we don't always get to read in a course like this. Um, so we're looking at uh, you know female voices, we're looking at lesser known voices, we're looking at um, uh, Native American voices. So all these things, that, all these voices that kind of helped create this new American identity. Um, you guys can read the course goals and outcomes for yourself, but do note that there is a textbook required. Um, it is American Lit to 1865 um, from their anthology, and it has two volumes. So when you get it from the bookstore, it has both volumes bound together, so make sure you get both of them. Um, I do say current edition, but really you can get any edition that you like. Um, I don't care which edition you have as long as you're able to find the correct text in there. Um, I actually have the 8th edition. The current edition is the 9th, so if you get the current one or another one, your, your page numbers may not match up with mine, but you can always pause the lecture videos and go find the right pages pretty easily. So get whichever one is cheapest and whichever one is easiest for you to get. Um, just note that the page numbers might be different. Um, if you don't know how to use Blackboard, I do have a Blackboard one-on-one -on -one video that I've uploaded. Um, it can also be found under the syllabus tab throughout the semester if you ever need to reference it. Just make sure you know really how to use Blackboard for this course. Um, and you guys have three units in this course and they're weighted um, essentially uh, relatively the same. The, early, the first essay is the early settlement uh, text, so that's going to be 15% of your grade. The Enlightenment and Romanticism unit is 25% because it is the longest one that we have. And then the Transcendentalist unit is 20% of your grade. So the, together that's 60% and the remaining 40% comes from quizzes, which are 10, um, writing assignments, which are 5, blogs and discussions, uh, discussion boards are 10% each, and then attendance or participation is 5%. Um, you can see the grading scale there if you need an incomplete. Usually this is for extreme cases only, something like a major hospitalization um, or something like that. But if that does occur, you can read the information about how we facilitate an incomplete with the college. Um, and everything basically is structured by week in this course. So you'll be able to see um, the entirety of a week's assignments at once. And everything is due for each week on Sunday at midnight. I do say midnight. It is 11.59 p.m., um, but essentially midnight. Um, and you guys can work ahead, actually. So you have the ability to see all of the weeks in a unit ahead of time. Um, so if you know you have a vacation or something coming up, you can work ahead. And it's your right and responsibility to make sure that um, your work is kind of done on time no matter what's happening. And that's also why I give you guys the ability to work throughout the week at your own pace and your own leisure um, because everybody does have different schedules. So just make sure that your work is done and in by that, that deadline on Sunday night. Um, you'll see each week is designated by a Monday through Friday work designation. So this is say week three is Monday, November 6th through Friday, uh, November 10th. I'll always clearly say that everything is due on Sunday, November 12th. So everything is due two days later. Um, this is just so I can help keep track of the work week. Everything is in MLA format, which we're going to go over, and um, everything is checked for plagiarism through SafeAssign. Um, because the course is self-paced and because you can work ahead, um, Late work is not accepted. This is a really fast-paced course with a lot of things that are due each week. Um, and because of that, you need to make sure that you start early in the week and make sure you get everything done. Um, your grades will be, will be available to you throughout the semester. I'll keep them updated um, on Blackboard so you can always know where you're standing. And remember that it is the weighted total grade that you're looking at, not points, not anything else. Um, 
the attendance policy does apply here. So TCC has an attendance policy, even if we don't meet in person. Um, so if you miss more than 15% of the class instruction, the instructor does have the right to drop you from the course. Um, if you need the withdrawal information, it's right here. Um, participating, participating simply means that you are completing your assignments, you're emailing me with your questions, you're making sure to engage with other people in the course, um, and that really is all that, that's required for participation. Um, important dates, classes begin the 14th, final ad drop is the 21st, and final day of class is March 7th. Um, academic dishonesty is very simple, please don't do it, please don't plagiarize. Um, it's really not worth it for a three to four page essay to have any of the consequences that can come to plagiarism. Um, you can fail the course, you can fail the assignment, you can fail, uh, fail out of the college, you can be expelled from the college, you can be um, kicked off any extracurricular activities that you have. It's just really not worth it and Safe Assign is really powerful. Um, it will show me pretty much anything that's come from the internet ever um, it'll show me if you it comes from a paper that you've done previously in this or any other class. It'll show me if it comes from another student's paper in this or any other class in the college ever. Um, so Safe Assign is really smart. It will highlight exactly what's plagiarized. It'll take me directly to the source and it'll show me the exact quote. Um, so it's very easy to find. It's It always gets found. Just please don't do it. Um, it's not worth it. And then I'll say the same thing along the lines of, um, you know, little things that students try to do to lengthen papers. So um, enlarging periods or changing margins or trying to do any of those things, just it's not worth it. Um, so please don't do that. Uh, if you need to email me, I will respond to you within 24 hours. Um, everything's returned with you within two weeks, but because this course is so fast, it's generally a lot faster than that. Um, the only thing that takes a little bit longer is the essays to grade. Um, so the max is two weeks there. Um, I do hold office hours on request through the IM function on Blackboard. Um, I don't have physical office hours, but you can always ask me for an online chat and I'm happy to do that. Um, if you need student support services, uh, they're right here. If you need disability support services, then information is right here. Um, and if you have any um, questions as far as technical requirements, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you have a good browser, make sure you have plugins that are needed, make sure you have Microsoft Office Suite because um, you do need to make sure that your major essays are submitted as Word documents. So if you don't have Microsoft Word, then you need to go make sure you download it. If you have a Mac, um, it's free online. Just make sure you go download it. You cannot turn in essays in PDF or text or any other format. It has to be Microsoft Word. Um, and then make sure that you understand that you have your TCC email. That's how I'll be communicating with you if need be. Um, if you have a technical issue, call the 24-7 help desk. It's really helpful. They know what they're doing. Um, also send me an email at the time. And then if can, if you can take a screenshot of the issue. Um, sometimes I can help. I've been doing this for a long time, so I know some of the workarounds. Um, but those are the three things you want to make sure that you do if you have a technical issue. Um, that should be it on the syllabus. Let me run through the uh, course calendar for you guys really fast. Um, so this, as I said, is a weekly, uh, weekly designation. So your first unit is two weeks. Um, and we're looking at sort of the introduction to MLA basics. And then we're also going to look, dive straight into our first text, which is Columbus and Cabeza de Vaca. Um, and then week two, everything is do uh, everything that week is Anne Bradstreet. We're going to look at some Native American trickster tales, um, and then you'll get your assignment sheet, and you'll have the rest of the week to work on your essay. And your essay is due on Sunday, January twenty seventh. Now, I did say that everything is due each week on Sunday at midnight. Note that this is a different uh, date. That's because a lot of times I have students who are added late to the course, or students need a little bit of time to get used to how a course works. Um, or they're waiting on textbooks or whatever it might be. So your first two weeks assignments are actually both due at the same time. So you have a little bit of extra time to work if need be. Um, other than that, everything is due each week at midnight on Sunday. 
So after your first essay assignment is, is done, you will have unit two open up. So the units are open. You can get any week within a unit that you need, but you cannot go on to the next unit until that, that essay is due. So um, this is really to make sure that we all reset or are on the same page for each unit and nobody gets way far ahead. Um, but unit two will open up on the 28th of February. And you guys, uh, January, I'm sorry, and you will be able to work ahead for weeks three, four, and five. Um, so we'll go through the Founding Fathers in the Enlightenment. We'll look at John and Abigail Adams. Um, we'll look at some fe um, female poets and Phyllis Wheatley. And then we'll move to Romanticism. And you will choose either James Fenimore Cooper or Henry, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to do just Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Um, and then you can either, you can also choose a text from Alan po <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe to read. Um, essay assignment number two is going to be due on Sunday, February 17th. Um, and then unit three will open and you guys will be able to access the transcendentalist unit. Um, and this basically is two weeks. So we'll look at Emerson Thoreau and then you'll choose Whitman or Dickinson. And then we'll also have Frederick Douglass and that week you'll get your assignment sheet and you'll be able to, um, write your essay and it's due on Sunday, March 3rd. Um, so after that, there is actually no final exam for this course, but there is an extra credit opportunity available during finals week. So um, if you choose to do it, that extra credit opportunity is due on Tuesday, March 5th. So I know that's a lot of information. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you guys. If you have questions, let me know. You can always email me um, at my email, oops, which is right here. Um, otherwise, go ahead and take your syllabus quiz.